If you don't know who Luminar is, essentially they're the leading provider of uh, LiDAR for, for the company. And LiDAR got famous when Elon Musk uh, called it a, I think it was a fool's errand. Um, now at that point, I think, uh, you know, uh, LiDAR was $10,000 and was this huge, you know, huge, uh, you know, cop siren looking, looking thing. And now the bomb cost is down to a thousand. Uh, Luminar has a vision or a goal to get that bomb cost down to a hundred dollars, right? That includes the later laser, silicon, uh, other other odds and, and ends. And Luminar bought a company called Freedom uh, Photonics, which uh, uh, Freedom Photonics doesn't 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 even have a a Twitter uh, page, or I couldn't find it. Um, but a a very successful company that's doing um, cost reduced, uh, miniaturized IP. Uh, for, uh, for 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 lasers, and th this is essentially uh, to enable Luminar to get to that hundred uh, hundred dollar bomb cost. Let me let me just flash up what these things look like. Right, you can see that is a laser um, that that is on there. Obviously, it doesn't have the optics on it, but this is the semiconductor required to do it. Here are all of the different parts that Freedom Photonics uh, does. And you can see, you know, multiple size laser, um, photo detectors, and they even do uh, custom, custom products out there. Here's the technology that they do. And you can see, you know, it, what, you know, the, the large part of a laser is essentially uh, the portion that either takes in light or, or moves light. And they have a ton of uh, private uh, private label uh, photonics that I don't know exactly which products they're in, but at some point I I'd like to find out. But this is again all about the hundred dollar uh, bomb cost uh, for uh, receiver, ASIC, and the laser. Yeah, it's a big moment, Pat. I mean, there's the definitely the technical underpinnings that you mentioned. Um, it also comes down to Luminar has a very unique set of technology. It's proven out to to have strong interest wins with companies like uh, Volvo, Mercedes-Benz. Um, there's a general desire in the market. You and I have been witness demo. We've shared this more than a few times that what LiDAR can add from a security and safety standpoint for drivers really should be non-negotiable, but it just yeah. is a reflection of our society, capitalism at all costs, right? Like run the kid over, it's okay. Um, but in all serious, you know, they've been a partner to Mobileye, which is by units, probably one of the most uh, highly sold <laughs> um, technologies on the planet as it comes to the L2 Plus. And of course, Luminar, or sorry, Mobileye is moving very quickly as well. Uh, you know, the company Luminar needs to be attractive to more OEMs, bringing in-house innovation, technology, intellectual property that enables them to get that bomb down and get this technology into as many vehicles as possible in the shortest horizon. Everybody that knows the automotive space knows this is not an overnight phenomenon. You don't just come out with cool technology and they start implementing it into cars that people are buying today. You need to get this technology in front of these OEMs today in order to get this implemented into technology three, four, five years into the future. So, um, you know, and it's also when it comes to chip companies getting more and more competitive. You know, NVIDIA, of course, we didn't really even talk about, uh, you know, what they were announcing. And with Hyperion, but you got NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Intel, all massively invested, understanding that 20% of the bomb of a vehicle by 2030 is going to be semiconductors. So Luminar has got a lot of growth, a lot of future, a lot of potential. It's still early days, a smart acquisition. Check out the research note I wrote in the show notes if you want to know more. 